Welcome to LinuxHelp.com. In this session, we are going to see the introduction to Perl scripting and also the installation of latest and stable version of Perl, which is 5.28.0, with the help of Perl Brew. First of all, Perl language is used on millions of computers and it is one of the fastest growing programming languages available, which is a stable and cross platform programming language. Perl is not that difficult to learn, and it is a language that tries to shape itself around the way that human thinks about problems and provides nothing contrary to their expectations. Some of the features of Perl language is it is portable and can run on any operating system which is a cross platform or a multi platform language. It uses mode underscore Perl to allow Apache web server to embed as a Perl interpreter. Perl's DBA package makes makes web database integration easy. It can integrate with almost all modern databases, work with HTML, XML and other markup languages. Uh, one of the most important feature in Perl is CPAN. The abbreviation is Comprehensive Perl Archive Network, which is your one-step archive for everything related to Perl. It has source code, documentation, Perl examples, extensions and so on. Now let us see the installation of latest version of Perl on CentOS 7 with the help of Perl Brew. For that switch to your terminal. By default CentOS is installed with Perl. You can check them by running the following command. Here you can see version 5.16.3 is installed on your machine. In order to start with the latest version, you can install with the help of Perl Brew. First check for the required dependency packages before starting with your installation. So I'm going to check with the help of RPM command. Install other GCCs by installing GCC with the help of yum. After installation, also check whether your bzip is installed in your machine or not. You can check it by running the following command. Finally, install patch in your machine. Next, we can start with the installation of Perl Brew. For that, download the installation script to your server either with the help of wget command or curl command. After downloading it, list and see. Make it as an executable format. Before that, rename it. After renaming it, install Perl Brew by pipelining it with bash. For that, run the following command. Once you are done with the installation, you should edit your dot bash underscore profile so that it automatically sets some important Perl Pro environment variables in it. Next, run the following command. Finally, grep your environment variable and see. You should get the output like this. Next, in order to know the full path of your Perl Brew, type which Perl Brew on your command line. So it will show the source location. Next, see the types list of types of available Perl version by running the following command. For that, type Perl Brew space available. In that select the latest and stable version and install it with the help of Perl Brew. You can also switch to another terminal and check for the logs with the help of this command execute this command now in order to use the installed version run the following command
and if you want to make this version as your default one type pearl brew space which followed by the version which you have installed finally verify the installed version by running pearl iphone b updated version gets installed we are done with the installation of pearl pearl just installs the core pearl code to see which module comprise the core for a particular version of pearl execute the following command which is core list iphone v followed by the version of pearl this comprises of the list these are the, the following modules were in pearl testing your pearl installation by installing modules from cpan which has a vast array of public code modules that extend the core language and these are scored in comprehensive pearl archive networks so i'm going to install cpan minus which is an app in a pearl module install it with the help of wget or curl command Now verify whether the cpan minus module is installed and present in your machine or not by running this command. You can able to see the app cpan minus gets installed successfully. You can now use the command line utility cpan m to install additional modules and their dependencies. For example, I am going to install email simple module. In case if you are writing some Perl code to send email messages, this app is mandatory. So here for an example, I am installing and showing it to you. Finally, it gets installed. Once again, list and see the modules in Perl. Now you will be able to see two modules, which is app cpan minus followed by the email module. Email module is required along with the date and format for sending email messages. So you can able to see one more module gets installed in this. And this is how you can upgrade Perl version with the help of Perl Brew and also install cpanm. With the help of it, you can install other Perl modules. You can refer source codes, documentation of Perl's extensions and so on. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel Linux Help. For further tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com. Any queries, mail to support at linuxhelp.com.